The 8th of January, our Venerable Father George the Hosevite. Our Holy Father George was born in Cyprus towards the middle of the 6th century. After the death of his devout parents, desiring to embrace the ascetical life and to escape the marriage arranged for him by his uncle and tutor, he fled to the Holy Land, where his elder brother Heraclides had already been living for some years as a hermit in the Lavra of Calamon on the banks of the Jordan. Finding him still too young for the eremitical life, his brother took him to the monastery of the Mother of God at Hoseva on the road from Jerusalem to Jericho, which had been founded in the previous century by Bishop John of Caesarea. After receiving the monastic tonsure, he was placed under an elder from Mesopotamia who was severe and unjust, but his disciple obeyed him meekly, patiently, and humbly, as if the Lord himself manifested his presence through him. One day, as he was late bringing water from the stream, his elder struck him a violent blow in the presence of the whole community, whereupon his hand immediately withered, seized with paralysis, and he recovered the use of it only at the prayer of his disciple before the tomb of the saints of the monastery. To escape the vain admiration of men, St. George then fled and made his way to Calamon, where for many years he shared his brother's cell an admirable way of life. He was obedient to him in everything and regarded him as his father in God rather than his brother according to the flesh. With never an idle word, they persevered ceaselessly in prayer and for food they made do with moldy leftovers covered in worms that were kept for them from week to week. George's prayer soon found such favor with God that he was able to make a barren tree bear fruit or approach a formidable lion without fear. Heraclides fell asleep in peace at the age of seventy, renowned as a very model of humility, and George, alone in their cell now, carried on in his brother's footsteps, while always remaining ready to serve his brethren in the Lavro. On the death of the abbot, the troubles which disturbed the community over the election of his successor caused George to leave Calamon, and on a sign from God, to return to Hoseva, the monastery of his tonsure. Abbot Leontius received him there with such joy and assigned him an isolated cell, leaving him free to lead the kind of life that suited him. Remaining in seclusion throughout the week and keeping his spiritual labors a close secret, he joined the Cenobitic community on Sundays, spoke of things useful to the soul, and would receive with a special care the confession of the thoughts of the brethren. He used to collect leftovers from the common table during the week, which he dried in the sun and ate. In spite of numerous assaults of demons aimed at interrupting his rule of prayer, he would never break it for any reason, and he never spoke a word without an inspiration from God. He thus won great power over unclean spirits. His anchoretic life did not prevent him from being eager to serve his brethren, and on bread-baking days he was always ready to look after the oven, whose heat was all the more stifling in the climate of that region. Although there was nothing in him of the spirit of judgment, when he compared contemporary monks with those of old, he would often lament their lack of fervor and fear of God, and their indiscipline during the services. Above all, he found fault with those who, taking credit for the many years they had spent in the monastery, treated their lay brethren and sinners with disdain. Believe me, he said, even if someone were able to make heaven and earth anew, but regarded his neighbor with profound contempt, he would labor in vain, and his portion would be with the hypocrites. A man cannot approach God unless he is at peace with his neighbor. The sins and passions all have pride as their common source, and they lead to death, while obedience and submission to the Lord are life, joy, and light. He taught his monks to free themselves of their passions by fear of God, shown in labor, tears, prayer, and fasting, and he exhorted them to vie with one another in humility by keeping themselves from all criticism or jealousy of one another, so as thus to attain holy charity, the bond of perfection. Following a vision on the eve of the Persian invasion, he predicted the fall of Jericho and the siege of Jerusalem. The abbot and brethren therefore had time to flee, some to Arabia, others to caves. He himself was unwilling to leave the place where God had placed him, although the entreaties of his disciples prevailed with him at last to take refuge at Calamon. Most of the monks were discovered by the invaders and massacred or taken into captivity. St. George, however, commanded the respect of the barbarians and was left at liberty. He returned to Hoseva, 
where he lived as a recluse within the monastic enclosure for the remainder of his days, served by Anthony, his faithful disciple and biographer. Thanks to his prayers, the monastery never lacked bread and oil for its guests, despite the famine and misery which followed the fall of the holy city. In extreme old age he fell ill, and realizing that the moment of his departure from this life had come, he sent for Anthony. The latter was busy looking after the guests and was unable to come to his bedside immediately. The elder therefore sent to him to say, Don't worry, I shall wait until you have finished your duty. When his disciple arrived towards midnight, he embraced him and said, Depart, my soul, and go to the Lord. And he fell asleep. Blessed is our God, always known forever to the ages of angels. Amen. Glory to Thee, O God, glory to Thee, O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art of our present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of the ages. Amen. With the streams of thy tears, thou didst cultivate the barrenness of the desert. And by thy sighings from the depths, thou didst bear fruit a hundredfold in labors, and thou becamest a luminary, shining with miracles upon the world. O George, our righteous Father, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled, and word shall I now pour forth unto the Mother and Queen, and I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. O Holy Father George, pray to God for us. Entreat Christ to open my mouth, O George, and to give me grace, the first fruits of wisdom, that I cause as I am in joy may worthily sing of thy memorial with divine song. Holy Father George, pray to God for us. Thou didst pass thy life on earth like a bodiless being, O thou who art truly great. Wherefore thou wast united to the choirs of bodiless hosts, singing thrice holy songs unto the Creator and receiving his illumination. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst set the world as naught through thy thoughts that were beyond the world, and having struggled in the asceticism in the world, where Christ himself was reared, thou didst depart to that pure world, and was joined to the choirs of the firstborn, O wise Job. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I have opened my mouth, O pure virgin, and have undertaken to sing of thee who gave birth to the anhypostatic wisdom. But since I am impure, and have not the strength to praise thee, the all-pure, as is right, I ask for thy help. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living and never-failing spring, 
all them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name, and by thy grace divine, O maid, deem them all worthy of glorious crowns. O Holy Father George, pray to God for us. By washing thyself with thine own tears, thou didst cleanse thy flesh of worldly mire, and with their streams which flowed like rivers, thou didst drown the confluence of demons by thine asceticism. Holy Father George, pray to God for thou us. Thou madest thy life eminent in holiness, blameless in righteousness, O wise and divinely blessed George, and after labouring in ascetical toils, thou didst inherit the life that is without toil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Taken captive by divine love for the holy places of Zion, O all blessed, thither didst thou depart, and there didst thou abide till thy death, O wisest of men, afflicting thy flesh with labour. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O maiden, bride of God, guide to the path of repentance, me who sing thy praise, though I have offended unforgivably, for thou didst conceive the word who purges the world of sin. Let us now him and magnify the glorious citizen of heaven, the intercessor for the faithful, who is great in asceticism. For with pure pangs and his glorious manner of life, he truly strove to please him whose good pleasure it was to ascend the cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The streams of the Jordan River hast thou hallowed, O Lord, Thou holy hast crushed the power and dominion of sin, O merciful Christ our God. Thou hast bowed beneath the hand of John the forerunner, and hast saved all mankind from delusion and error. We therefore supplicate thee, O Lord, spare us and save thy world. Seated in his holy glory on the throne of divinity, Jesus God transcendent comes on a light cloud as king of all, and he has saved by his pure and undefiled hand them that cry to him, Glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign might. O Holy Father George, pray to God for us. Thou didst honourably nourish thy soul with fasting as food, O blessed George, and has now presented it in gladness unto the Maker of all, who called thee to rejoice with him in divine revelling on high. Holy Father George, pray to God for Thou us. Thou didst appear as a heaven made fair with deeds as stars, and bearing as day star the Lord, who made thy soul bright as the moon, and showed thee to be a partaker of his glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Master, coming down from heaven for our sakes, finds Zion to be a truly divine place for his rest, and there didst thou lodge with longing, using it as a ladder to ascend to the Zion on high. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that sits eternally in the bosom of him that begat him now appears, sitting and circumscribed in thine arms, showing thee his mother to be ever virgin, and verily inviolate after giving birth. All creatures were sore amazed at thy divine and great glory made, O pure virgin who hast not known wedlock. For thou didst hold in thy womb the God of all, and gave us birth to the timeless Son, who doth grant salvation unto all them that acclaim thy name. O Holy Father George, pray to God for us. The angels and the whole company of the righteous were so amazed on beholding the unyielding firmness of thy labours, and the harshness of thy way of life. For thou didst end your labours like a lifeless stone, that thou mightst achieve the virtue. Holy Father George, pray to God for us. Behold, a very great George has shone on every soul, filling all men with an outpouring of light, 
and freeing them even now from the moonless night of the passions, as he moves like an exceedingly clear sun in the saving course. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst estrange thyself from thy fatherland, the wise George, loving Christ, who became a stranger among mortals, more than thy kindred in this life, wherefore thou becamest worthy of him, and was vouchsafed his grace from on high. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O immaculate maiden, thou hast made a plenitude of mortals fair, for thou wast shown to be more spacious than the wide vessel of heaven, when thou gavest birth to God the Word, who stretched out the heavens as it were a curtain, and who fashioned mortals. Prefiguring thy three-day burial, the prophet Joel, as praying within the sea monster, cried out, Deliver me from corruption, O Jesus, King of hosts. O Holy Father George, pray to God for us. Thou didst cry unto God with ever-flowing tears, and he delivered thee from life, as from out a terrible sea monster, on to the waveless and ever-flowing fountains of deification. Holy Father George, pray to God for us. The choir of virtues set thee up as a forward stronghold that feared no the skirmishings of noetic enemies, O blessed George. For since thou stoodst firm, thou overcamest the tempter. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou runs as a sheep to the monastery of Hosea, and using di- discipline as a staff, thou lest to eat in the sheep that dwell therein. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord dwelled in thy womb as a mortal. He that vouchsafes me a mortal, the imperishable dwelling, overlooking mine unseemly deeds and offences, O pure maiden. Thou hast been shown forth to be an all-radiant beacon, illumining with divine rays the faithful who cry out to thee. Pray for us to Christ the Master, who appeared in the streams of the Jordan and has enlightened mortals. No created thing but only the Creator with the godly-minded use adore and worship as God. But manfully trampling down threats of fire, they cried out, O supremely praised and all acclaimed one, blessed art thou, O thou Lord God of our fathers. O Holy Father George, pray to God for us. Straightened by the pains of asceticism, thou didst not give in to satanic thoughts, for possessing a mind free of distraction and directed to the Lord who is able to save, thou shooks off every assault. Holy Father George, pray to God for us. By thy sleeping on the ground, thy vigils and thy fasting, thou didst mortify all thy members upon the earth, and now thou leavest the life that is pure and without pain, O blessed George, praying for us who praise thee with longing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. So didst thou desire to see and to worship the tomb of him who ever is, O wise George, and coming thereto, thou didst deem it a holy thing to die through asceticism with him that was slain for his compassion's sake. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. They that acknowledge thee to have conceived the Creator have not worshipped the creation, but knowing the word who shone forth from thee to be the true God who made, they cry, O Lord and God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bear. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth and deed, and he has gathered all the world which cries out and chant. Ye works of his, O sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. O Holy Father George, pray to God for us. In no wise gaze thou slumber to thine eyelids, no sleep to thine eyes, O righteous Father, till thou hadst made thyself to be a fair and fitting dwelling of the Almighty, 
whom all his works praise and supremely exalt unto all the ages. Holy Father George, pray to God for us. As rest from thine innumerable labors, O all blessed George, thou hast found paradise, which the Lord has prepared beforehand as the common kingdom, for them that long after him with their whole soul, and unceasingly cry, Praise and supremely exalt Christ unto the ages. Blessed Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. The monastery of Hosea is found in the rule and most exact example for the pursuit of every form of virtuous works, O wise George. Boast of the righteous, therefore those who have passed their lives in godliness live for joy with thee, Unto the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In his ineffable mercy, he that is simple in his divine nature truly became twofold from thee, O Mother of God, uniting to his divinity the flesh which he received from thy blood. Therefore, knowing thee to be the Theotokos, we praise thee with hymns unto all the ages. Let every earth-born man upleap in the spirit, and now hold his torch on high. And let the bodiless noetic host now celebrate joyously the Theotokos, his sublime and sacred festival, as they cry out. Rejoice, O thou blessed one, ever-virgin and pure mother of our God. O Holy Father George, pray to God for us. Thou didst utterly despise every delight of this life, O marvellous Father, for the sake of the heavenly delight and glory, for thou wast diligent to quench the furnace of the passions with a hard way of life and with thy many tears. O George, august adornment of man. Holy Father George, pray to God for us. Now thou truly stands in the presence of God, whose own thou formerly was diligent to become by asceticism, O all-wise George. And thou manifestly delights in his manifestations, wherefore grant enlightenment and participation in divine things unto all who honour thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Delivered from darkness, thou hast been taken up to the unwaning light, O glorious Father. And thou stands before the Almighty and free Son, light with the orders on high, O blessed man. And thou delight in the splendour that issues thence, and shines like a fiery beacon upon us who hymn thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, desiring to deify the whole of me, is wholly united unto thee, and inaugurates the utterly incomprehensible mystery. Thou givest birth as an inviolate virgin, and God is seen to be flesh. While honouring him we now call thee blessed, O Mariam, as thou thyself didst prophesy. In thee the image was preserved with exactness, O Father, for taking up thy cross thou didst follow Christ, and by thy deeds thou didst teach us to overlook the flesh, for it passes away, but to attend to the soul, since it is immortal. Wherefore, O righteous George, thy spirit rejoices with the angels. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May he who deigned to be baptized by John in the Jordan for our salvation, Christ, our true God, and the praise of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and All Praised Apostles, with the power and protection of the Holy and Alive Giving Cross and all the Holy Bodiless Powers of Heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, 
the Sois, the Great and Brand and the Navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of our venerable father, George of Joseva, with the prayers of our venerable mother, Dominica of Constantinople, with the prayers of St. Arthur of Canterbury, with the prayers of Saints Erdnard, Erhard, Pega, Albert, Wulsin, and St. Nathanalan of Aberdeenshire, and all of those with them whose memory we also keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim, and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for his good and he loves mankind. Amen. For the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, O God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.